Hoffman, Saints Hall of Famer, Fox 8 Saints analyst, Deuce McAllister. Deuce, the Saints are 2-2. Two two. How? How? How are they 2-2? Two two? They didn't allow a single offensive touchdown today. Uh, the Falcons didn't score a single offensive touchdown, and yet here they are at 2-2. Two two. Back-to-back weeks, they lose. Back-to-back weeks, in my opinion, they outplayed their opponent. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that they outplayed their opponent, but, I mean, it doesn't show up in the record book. Yeah. I mean, it, it's lost the last yeah. two weeks, and so um, you've got to fix the little things. And so you were efficient, very efficient at times, but critical, critical mistakes ended up biting you in the end. And so whether we talk about offense, you know, you had motion issues, you had uh, penalties as far as, you know, pre-snap penalties, different things like that. You had the interception return for a touchdown, special teams, you had the muff punt. You know, and defensively, it's it's penalties. It's penalties. Now, you were sloppy with tackling as well. And so, um, man, this team is, you've got enough talent where you can compete, but you're hurting yourself. And they're hurt. They've got a lot of injuries, and yet they outplayed this, this opponent today and still yeah. lost. Um, so there's a frustration level there. I mean, you, you heard in the piece earlier, D.A. let an F-bomb slip yeah. in, in the post-game press conference. He's not happy. No one is, obviously. This is a tough one to lose. Uh, you said something there, though. The Rashid Shaheed muff punt kind of set the tone for yeah. some mental lapses all day. I am not sure what he was thinking. A, he's at the two-yard line. B, He's kind of lackadaisical, kind of just kind of flimsy catch in the ball. He, he, I, what, he, he, what was, he was on not there? square. Yeah. And so since the punters are so good now, they allow them to put their toes at six. Yeah. But it, it's I can't move. Mm-hmm. I'm six. It used to be ten. Now it's six yards. If I'm going to feel one, I want to be square. Mm-hmm. He was kind of sideways. He's catching it over the shoulder. The ball was drifting away. Let it go. Yeah. I mean, if I'm coming out at the two, so be it. If the punter pins me inside, so be it. But I agree with you. You know, that, that kind of set the stage. It's a muff punt. Normally, you can't advance a muff punt. But since it happened right there where it did and they recovered yeah. it, it's a touchdown. And, I mean, your defense had held him. Yeah. Your defense had held him and forced a punt. And so, man, didn't know that's what it would be for this game. But it's definitely one that's disappointing and it hurts because you, it was an opponent in a game you should have won. Yeah. And, look, you know, uh, other mental lapses. The Debo had three penalties, including the last one on the final drive, which obviously set up. They didn't score. They didn't. They didn't get another yard after that, and yet that was enough for uh, for their cool. kicker to make the to make the the 58 yard field goal. I mean, it really honed boils down to this team just they've got to be focused at this at the at the right time it's about execution yeah it's about execution i can't have multiple people not executing whether it's offense defense i've got some new guys in you know you lost willie gay after the first drive i think he wasn't able to go in i mean it's the effort is there i can't yeah. fault the effort no right it's, it's about execution with this team yeah it is about execution you can just tell that they're off on their details one player that started off great and you could tell the difference when he was in the game but then he left the game yeah. and you saw clint kubiak kind of it took him a while to kind of find his footing again. That's Taysom Hill. Like, yeah. This offense is just different with Taysom Hill. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, short yardage as far as some of the things that he does for you, even lining up at quarterback. I mean, he's a difference maker. And so when he left with the uh, abdomen injury, you know, the opposite of the other side from the, uh, I think it was the rib or the lung injury, man, that, that's a big loss. And so they've got to figure out another playmaker or two to step up offensively because Alvin can do a lot, but he can't do it all, all, all on his own. Yeah, he can. Uh, he would have helped that second to last drive where they got inside the 10 and didn't score. Yeah. When they went for it on fourth down, Taste would have certainly helped in that regard. Yeah. Got to give uh, credit to two two dogs. And that's Chris Olave and Alvin Kamara today. Yeah. They did some work. I mean, they did some work today. So um, they battled, and, and both those guys were battled through injuries. Well, both of them had, you know, you had the hamstring injury. Alvin had the hip as well as the ribs, and he fought. I mean, there were a couple probably busted mistakes that they have, but, I mean, when their number was called, they were able to come through for you. They came through from, unfortunately, the Saints didn't come through today against the Atlanta Falcons. It's on to Kansas City next week on Monday Night Football. Deuce, thank you. Thank you.